Update 11.52 p.m. Bishop of Ferns Dennis Brennan has today called for a no vote in the upcoming referendum on the Eighth Amendment. In a pastoral message issued this morning, the bishop said that voters are the unborn baby's last line of defense. Removing the Eighth Amendment and replacing it with laws that allow for unrestricted abortion up to 12 weeks will strip the voiceless of their most fundamental right and make all talk of any other human rights irrelevant for them, the bishop stated, the child with a life-limiting condition will have even less protection, and will have no rights at all, at any stage, during pregnancy. In the words of love is for life, sincerity and good intentions do not make wrong things right, it is being said that Irish women are having terminations anyway, but surely we can do more for women experiencing an unwanted pregnancy than legalizing abortion? Let us offer a more positive alternative such as help and support to remove the Eighth Amendment will mean a very different Ireland. It will mean an Ireland, where access to abortion will become much more widespread, and freely available, and one in which the right to life, for the 12-week-old unborn child, will be removed. In such circumstances, we will clearly have forgotten that the unborn child is one of us, a member of the human family. Update 1048 AM, Eighth Amendment, a healthcare issue, say Social Democrats. The Social Democrats have today given their backing the campaign to repeal the Eighth Amendment, saying that they believe it is a healthcare issue. The party is launching its, yes, for repeal, campaign this morning in Dublin, Cork and Galway today. Opinion polls over the weekend show support for the yes side in the abortion referendum has dropped slightly, but still holds the majority vote with five weeks to go until voting day on May 25th. Catherine Murphy, a leader of the Social Democrats, said that women should be able to seek the treatment they need in this country. Women traveling for abortions has been a dominant feature for over 30 years now, she said. I think there is a realization in this country, and we are seeing it from the opinion polls, that we do have a responsibility to provide health care in our own jurisdiction, and that's part of the reason that we are advocating very strongly for a yes vote. Catherine Murphy reacting to today's poll, the Together for Yes campaign insisted that every single vote will count on May 25th. Orla O'Connor, campaign co-director said, there is still a very long way to go in this referendum campaign, and we are taking nothing for granted. This is a crucial and historic debate which proposes to remove the harmful Eighth Amendment from the Constitution, and we understand that people rightly want to consider all the facts and evidence from doctors and medical professionals to help them reach their decision. In the meantime, we are encouraging everyone to check the register and ensure they are registered to vote because every vote matters on polling day. Update 10.48 a.m. Poll shows slight fall in support for repealing Eighth Amendment A new opinion poll out today shows support for repealing the Eighth Amendment has fallen slightly in the past month. The latest poll appears in today's Sunday Times. Third Sunday Times Behavior the poll was conducted from April 5 to 17 in face-to-face -face interviews with 928 voters. Sunday Times political editor Stephen O'Brien said that when you strip out the undecided voters that gives a lead for the yes of 62% to 38%. He added that the fact that there has been little chipping away at the yes lead is a worrying sign for the no side at this stage in the campaign, but there are still five weeks to go. Digital Desk